at the stakeholders meetings of the Delta Central 2023, also known as DC23, in April, convened by frontline PDP leader in Delta State, Chief Igoyota Amori, which culminated to the group's inauguration in May 2021. One major resolution reached was that committees and subcommittees will be constituted to commence statewide consultation and strategic advocacy for the realization of the goal of ensuring that the district produces the next governor of the state in 2023. It was, however, agreed that before reaching out on its agenda, the group must first meet with Urobo traditional rulers and the leadership of the Urobo Progress Union, UPU. In fulfillment of the decision, the chief Igota Amori led national leadership of DC23 on Tuesday, June 8, 2021, met and had robust engagement with Urobo monarchs at the palace of the chairman, Forum of Urobo Traditional Rulers, the Okworode of Olomu Kingdom in Ugele South local government area. The royal fathers who had, through the forum, continued to promote and defend sustainable peace and development of Urobo land, gave their royal blessings to the leadership of DC23 for the actualization of its set goal. The Urobo Cultural Center at Uyamugi Agbaru in Ugele North local government area was the venue for the DC-23 visit to the UPU. The visit to the UPU was unprecedented as all the President Generals of Urubo Kingdoms were present with strong support to the UPU, also coming from youth leaders of communities and kingdoms in Urubo Nation. DC-23 National Chairman Chief Igota Amori at both visits noted that it was paramount for the group to first officially inform the robot traditional rulers and the UPU about its mission and to get their blessings before interfacing with critical stakeholders and other interests in the state to muscle a normal support for the realization of an robot governor in the 2023 general elections. Chief Amori emphasized that the group remains very formidable in the task of ensuring a smooth transition of power to Delta Central in 2023. National Publicity Secretary of the group, Olorugu Ato Apo, also spoke in the same vein. We visited them, uh, properly informed them and briefed them of why DC23 was, was formed and to obtain their blessing. They have adequately prayed for us, they've blessed us and they believe that uh, with their blessing we believe that uh, come 23, Urubu definitely will produce the governor of Delta State under the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. So we need to inform them. So I'm going to inform them that this is what we are doing. We need their support. They also have traditional rulers as friends in North and South that they can also talk to. In his written speech, UPU President General Ororogo Moses Tiger said the union is non-partisan and non-aligned politically, hence serves no interest than that of the Robo Nation. He however stated that the UPU is not adverse to receiving pro robo bodies, associations and groups that genuinely seek to promote the interests of the robo nation and are driving the conversation on ways to achieving common interests. The UPUPG congratulated the National Executive and members of Board of Trustees of DC23 on their recent inauguration and swearing in and commended the leadership for finding it worthwhile to visit the UPU to inform the Union of its goals and objectives at this early stage of their activities. Towards this end, the UPU has put in place a committee headed by the first Deputy President General. Chief Captain Dr. Antonio Loario to synergize with the local political class across party lines on our aspiration for government house Asaba in 2023. Since the emergence of the DC23, no fewer than seven Urubo politicians within the PDP have declared their intentions for the governorship in 2023.